The Portland Trailblazers have had countless memorable moments throughout their history. Welcome to Rip City Rundown, where in today's video we will be looking at some of the craziest Blazer moments and ranking each moment in tier list form. For the first moment, we will be looking at Brandon Roy's historic Game 4 vs. Dallas in the playoffs. Even after winning Rookie of the Year and having three All-Star appearances, everyone thought Brandon Roy was not going to have much of an impact on this series given he had countless leg surgeries, played around 40 games a season, and at the time was a bench player with restricted minutes. However, Brandon had other plans as he led the Blazers on a 23-point comeback. Everyone was in awe as Roy took over in the fourth as he ended the night shooting 9 for 13, including this shot, which would go on to be the game winner. Although Dallas would go on to win the series, this was such a memorable moment given Portland's star, who everyone thought was done, did the impossible in a postseason game where all hope was lost. Looking at the tier list, I believe this moment deserves to go in legendary. This was against a team that went on to win the NBA championship, and this moment just follows the famous saying of never give up. Also, if Lillard led the team to this comeback, it would obviously be insane, but the fact that it was Roy, someone who was dealing with these brutal injuries, just makes it more memorable in my opinion. The next Blazer moment we will be looking at is Damian Lillard's sublime performance versus the Lakers on January 31st, 2020. This was four days after NBA legend Kobe Bryant's unexpected and unfortunate accident. In other words, it was the first Laker game after his death, so everyone, and I mean everyone, was watching this game. Although part of me wanted to see the Lakers succeed despite the news, Damian Lillard put on a clinical performance, scoring an absurd 48 points with 7 made threes, not to mention Dame was one rebound short of getting a triple-double as he had 10 assists. Some of the shots that Lillard hit in this game are unbelievable, including his amazing slam dunk that nobody saw coming and almost startled everyone. Good for Los Angeles though as they went on to win the championship in honor of Kobe later that season. Although this moment was memorable, obviously it was not as memorable as Brandon Roy's Game 4. This was just a regular season game, so even though millions were watching, the stakes were nowhere near that Game 4 in 2011. Lillard didn't even score 50 points, which he has done countless of other times, so I am going to put this moment in the pretty cool category. Damian Lillard had the best playoff performance in NBA history in 2021. This Blazer moment was absolutely unbelievable. Lillard scored 55 points with 12 made threes, which is an NBA record for threes in a playoff game. Not to mention, Dame hit two buzzer beaters to extend the game to overtime and double overtime. Unfortunately, despite Lillard's heroic performance, the Blazers ended up losing this game in double overtime. Damian Lillard literally had Austin Rivers thanking God in the middle of the game when Dame finally missed a shot. Dame did not miss much though as he shot 71% from the field and 71% from three. Other than Clay Thompson's 37 points in a quarter, nobody has ever taken over a game this immensely with this amount of consistency. If the Blazers won this game without hesitation, I would have put this moment in the legendary category. However, because the Blazers lost and a handful of Blazer fans tried to erase this game from their memory because of the result, that is why I'm putting this moment in the super memorable category and not the legendary category. The next Blazer moment we will be looking at is Thomas Robinson's block in 2014. After Wesley Matthews gets rejected, Corey Brewer is absolutely met up top by Thomas Robinson. Watch the crowd and bench stand up in sync as they are both in awe of what they just witnessed. And how about the alley-oop to Will Barton for the cherry on top? It's a priority to say Dame's game winner vs OKC belongs in the legendary category. This Blazer moment is one of the best slash unique game winners in NBA history. Not only were the stakes high being a playoff game, but the sheer distance of the shot was unbelievable. This was the farthest game winner in NBA history that wasn't a desperation shot. In other words, there was enough time for Lillard to drive to the paint, make a pass, stretch the floor, however, Lillard decided that this was a shot he wanted to take makes this moment also one of the coldest game winners in NBA history. Especially if you know the trash talk that was occurring between Portland and OKC this series. Also, a thing people tend to forget is Lillard dropped 50 points in this game and the Blazers were down 15 points with only 7 minutes to go. This moment was obviously legendary and will probably be the most memorable Blazer clip for the next 10 years. On November 6, 2008, the Blazers found themselves in a hole being down one point with eight tenths of a second remaining against the Houston Rockets. That is when Brandon Roy pulled off the impossible. 
This was a 31 foot fadeaway game winner. And let's rewatch this. Look how high the ball was. This was a desperation prayer that was answered. NBA players never shot or practiced 30 foot shots in this era, which makes this shot even more insane. It's also hard to ignore the similarities from this moment to Damian Lillard's game winner. Both were against Houston off an inbound pass from the exact same spot. I'm going to put this blazer moment in the impressive category for the sole reason that it was just a meaningless regular season game. If this was a postseason game, then I would definitely rank it higher. The Blazers' 1977 championship plays a big role in why Portland's franchise is viewed to be not a poverty franchise, unlike the Clippers, Kings, Hornets, T-Wolves, Pelicans, etc. All the sweat, grind, decision-making, injuries that our players and organization deals with is all an effort to win an NBA championship. And that is what we did in 1977. The problem with that championship is, well, it was nearly 50 years ago, and the value of championships decrease as time goes on. Being Portland's only championship, this moment goes straight into the legendary category with no hesitation. June 4th, 1977 was the best day in Blazers history. The day the Blazers win another championship will probably be one of the best days of my life. On November 2nd, 2017, Damian Lillard hit this gorgeous game winner over Brandon Ingram and the Los Angeles Lakers. Similarly to Dame's game winner versus the Thunder, this was a beautiful sidestep three-pointer to ice the game. Look at how satisfying this slow motion video is of Lillard creating enough space to get the shot off. This was a regular season game, so it is nothing more than just a fun moment on our tier list. How could any Blazer fan forget Game 3 of the second round in 2019, where the Blazers beat the Nuggets in quadruple overtime? Only one other game in NBA playoffs history reached four overtimes. There were two points in this grinded out game where everyone thought Portland was done, but they fought and found a way to squeak out the win. And let's also give a shout out to Rodney Hood for making the game winning three. The Blazers also went on to win this series in seven, meaning Portland was most likely toast if they lost this critical game three at home. Overall, this was a super memorable moment. To go four overtimes in a playoff game is crazy alone, but to win when it looked like it was over multiple times makes this moment unforgettable. The Blazers were in a battle against Utah in the second round of the 2000 playoffs. In Game 5, Portland found themselves down 2 with only 7 seconds remaining. Everyone expected for Portland to take it to the hole being down only 2, but Scottie Pippen had other ideas. Unexpectedly, Scottie pulled from 4 feet beyond the arc and sank a critical 3-pointer to give the Blazers the win. This clutch 3 sent Portland to the Western Conference Finals where they fell short to the Los Angeles Lakers. This moment is definitely underrated. People seem to forget this one because it was over 20 years ago. This moment is for sure more impressive than Brandon Roy's game winner against the Rockets, so I think I will be putting this moment also in the super memorable category. Ever since that run to the Western Conference Finals in the year 2000, the Blazers never made it past the first round of the playoffs until 2014. And that's where this moment comes in. Damian Lillard arguably started a new era for Portland with this insane shot. The Blazers were down two in game six in the playoffs with nine tenths of a second remaining. That is when Damian Lillard hit this insane 30-foot fadeaway to send Portland to the second round and avoid a Game 7 in Houston where Portland would be the underdogs. This moment is so popular, and it may come to a surprise for some, but I am actually not going to put this in the legendary category, but instead the super memorable category. In my personal opinion, I think our championship, the OKC shot, and Roy's comeback against Dallas are all more memorable than this moment. Game 7 in the 2019 Western Conference Semifinals was one of the most emotional victories the Blazers have ever experienced this decade. With Nurkic breaking his leg months earlier and getting bounced in the playoffs every year, the Blazers were heavy underdogs in this series against Denver. Despite the setbacks, the Blazers forced the Game 7 and left it all out there with their season on the line. As a Blazer fan, you could feel the pressure increasing as the time ticked down in the fourth quarter. As the fourth quarter started, nobody knew if our season was going to be over or if we were going to advance to the Western Conference Finals. CJ McCollum put on a clinical performance as he dominated the mid-range towards the end of the game. CJ sent Portland to the Western Conference Finals with his insane shot making. This moment deserves to go in the legendary category. The Blazers were down 17 earlier in the game and were getting destroyed by Jokic since Nurkic was out, but still were able to find a way to get the job done. 
1990 was the Blazers' best year since their ring in 1977. Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, and Jerome Kersey were in an elite trio. The Blazers were able to beat the Suns in six to advance to the NBA Finals once again. Although they would go on to lose in five against the Bad Boy Pistons, beating the Suns in game six was a very memorable moment. I'm putting this moment in super memorable, and my reason for why this moment is below Game 7 against Denver is because we were heavy underdogs, and I mean, come on, it's Game 7, win or go home. For the final memorable Blazer moment, we will be looking at Damian Lillard's breathtaking game winner against the Bulls. On January 30th, 2021, the Blazers had a regular season game against Chicago on the road. The Bulls at one point had an 18-point lead and the game looked like it was over. However, the Blazers fought back and actually led by three points with three minutes ago. Chicago then answered and reclaimed the lead. Chicago led by five with 10 seconds to go. All hope seemed lost as the odds for the Bulls to win at that moment were over 99%. However, Damian Lillard pulled off a mini Tracy McGrady moment. Dame scored an impossible three, cutting Chicago's lead to just two. The Blazers then forced a jump ball off the inbound, and Gary Trent Jr. was somehow able to win the jump ball against the NBA dunk contest champion, Zach Levine. With limited time after winning the tip, the Blazers found Dame, and Dame hit an impossible three as time expired and the Blazers stole the game. This was a crazy sequence, but obviously the stakes were low given it was a regular season game. I'm going to put this moment in the pretty cool category because scoring 6 points in 10 seconds when it is needed is simply cooler than just a so-called fun moment. So there we have it, those are the coolest moments in Blazers history, and here's the final result of the tier list. Comment down below what you think should be changed, or comment if there is a moment you think I forgot. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Blazers slash NBA content, and I will see you guys in the next video.